Now the un unusual thing is that uh, this skull actually had part of the body attached to it as well. So usually what we find is that when we're digging these things out of the ground is that we'll find bits of the body and no head and very, very rarely we'll find just a head, but unfortunately with no body attached. So the fact that this guy had both allows us to close that gap or they have this overlap between the body and the head that will unravel a lot of the species diversities of how many species of these long necked pleasis horse were swimming around here in this outback ocean a hundred million years ago. Still, there's still so much we don't know about these animals that were swimming in this ancient inland sea 100 million years ago, including well, how many species of these long-necked plesiosaurs, for instance, were there. So something as simple as that, just how many species there were, we don't really know exactly. So this animal here that has a head with a body attached to it allows us to unravel some of that species diversity. So we'll get a much better understanding of how did these early members of this group called the Lasmosaurs evolve uh, in the early Cretaceous, per Cretaceous period and also how many species were there around at the time. <laughs>